Welcome back to Fire to Fork. If you were with us for the last episode, you will know that I have not moved. Uh, I've sat down, digested my last meal, and that's about it. So today we are going to do a breakfast. Um, I, it's, what is it? Quarter past five in the afternoon. It's not breakfast time, uh, but I love breakfast time, the breakfast food any time of the day. So I have no issue at all making some breakfast food right here, right now. So what we are gonna need is some very expensive ingredients. This is creamed corn. It was 87 cents or something. Um, we are gonna need two eggs. Uh, I don't know how much two eggs is, maybe like, I don't know, a buck, a buck 50. Um, I don't recommend carrying them like this. I just actually was out of um, small Tupperwares. Uh, what I actually recommend doing with your eggs when you're traveling, especially if you're gonna do them like we're about to do them, is pour them into, is crack them and just pour them into a bottle uh, or a Tupperware or something like that. It means they don't crack. And as long as you're having them in something that it requires them to be beaten up it's not an issue at all so scrambled eggs in the morning fantastic uh, chuck them in your fridge they'll last ages um, yeah really 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 easy way of dealing with your eggs for long periods of time and I'll go get my other ingredient okay final ingredient major ingredient is just flour uh, self raising flour would probably be better but um, I don't have any in the car all the time. I just have plain flour and I have baking powder. So um, yeah, I have the ingredients of self raising flour, but today I'm just gonna use plain flour because that's what I actually keep in the car. I need a spoon. Now, if you haven't guessed already, we're making fritters. Uh, fritters aren't particularly interesting, but I feel like you can actually make them really interesting. And we're gonna to get to that bit later, but what I wanna give you now is the basics, and then you can basically let your imagination run wild. Also, this might be the first vegetarian savory thing I've ever made on Fire to Fork. Um, I'm gonna un-vegetarian it later, but right now it's vegetarian. So I've chucked a whole tin of creamed corn in there. Now I've used creamed corn because uh, normal corn, basically you have to whiz it up and make this. So, uh, just easier to use creamed. You use, chuck in four tablespoons initially of flour. A couple of eggs. We're actually gonna hold on to this paper towel because I'm completely out of paper towel, so. It's gonna be double use in this case. Now I like to chuck a bit of chili in there. So I'm gonna chuck some chili flakes in. Whoa, that's a lot of chili flakes. Good thing I like spicy food. Quite a bit of salt and pepper. Don't do it in a bowl this, bowl this small, this is stupid. Uh, I'm gonna go get a, something bigger. And give that a good mix up. Something I should mention, all the gear I'm using in this uh, and all my other videos is on my website so just go to fighter fork slash gear or just there's a link below uh, there's a gonna be a list of gear for not only my cooking stuff but also my car so anything you want info on it's much easier than uh, me going on and on about it I've got a little a few words about each item Generally found six tablespoons is about right. The reason I'm using six tablespoons, not sort of I don't know, a quarter of a cup or a third of a cup or whatever six, six tablespoons equates to, is I don't usually carry like quarter of a cup measures and things like that. So I actually find it easier in the bush just to use a tablespoon measure. Um, so yeah, a bit weird, but there's my reasoning. Okay, that batter looks like it's about the right consistency. If you watched the last episode, you'll know that I cooked some nice uh, beef mince in there, uh, beef and pork mince. So I'm gonna use the fat from that <laughs> because it's only about 25 minutes old. Oh. This is why I only fill up small bowls for Fred. Because I step on them as well as him. While I'm waiting for the pan to heat up, good time for a tin. 
remember when I uh, was asking for people to help me out to get sponsorship from Colonial. Um, they were make, getting annoyed that I was like begging and making a fuss of it. So um, with this tin, I'm just going to very casually, quietly enjoy it. Don't want to make a fuss or anything. As with all pancakey type of things, the first one will be shit. So just be aware of that. Always do a small first one. Oh. I would ordinarily just use butter, but yeah, it's what I had in the pan and it seems a shame to waste it. Alrighty. Oh yeah, camera. This actually looks pretty good, I've got to say. Um, I was expecting the first one to, oh. Nearly dropped it, nearly fired a floor. Plenty of chili. Whoa, actually heaps of chili. Definitely spilt that in there. It needs a bit more salt. But if you do make the first one not salty enough, just add salt to it. Oh, it's got some serious kick, which is ironic because of what I was going to suggest is um, as an incredibly simple little meal, just add a little bit of standard sweet chilli sauce. Those two together, beautiful combination. Nice sort of, almost an Asian-y, hmm, that's delicious, hmm. Bloody spicy though. Hmm. Okay, so that is your sort of five dollar, your five dollar fritters. What happens if we level this up a bit? Some people are watching to get cheap meals, but a lot of you are watching to know what you can, how good you can make it. So. Let's see what we can do. Start off with, you know, fritter. That is a really terribly shapen fritter, sorry. Good little tip, you've got a nice hard bit of um, cream cheese there. Squash it down to the back of your thing with your spoon, but then just leave it. Don't try and squash it too hard or you'll rip your thing apart. But then we grab, use your smoked salmon to crush it down. Excuse me for one second while I replace the battery in that. Okay, a little bit of cherry tomato on there. Chop that very quickly, a big rush. So a bit of cracked pepper. And then I think we should probably add a little bit of gratuitous B-roll.
All right, now if you're wondering what I was actually just saying a second ago, gratuitous, you know what that means. B-roll. B-roll is not a roll. It's uh, basically up close shots with a camera. It's just nerdy talk. But this is delicious talk. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. The corn is so sweet, so it goes really well with that beautiful saltiness of the um, cream cheese and the um, smoked salmon. Even without cherry tomatoes, it would be amazing, but the cherry tomatoes do add a really nice little bit of crunch and freshness. Oh, that's... They give you the non-discount version. Both are delicious. They're not equally delicious, but they are both delicious. If you want a quick feed for your kids, for your family, whatever, um, then just making the fritters, bit of sweet chili sauce, you will satisfy so many people. Uh, and if you want to make it a little bit more special, add cream cheese and sweet chili sauce. That makes it a little bit, you know, adds a little bit of something, something. If you want to treat someone, smoke salmon, add bacon, whatever you like, really. Uh, treat it like a, like toast. Sweet toast, yeah. Mm. Alright, that's enough for this episode. See you in the next one. Cheers, thanks for watching. I'm seriously gonna get so fat. But so worth it.